Hello, everybody. Uh, some of the people uh, registering this course uh, asked me uh, they got an exception uh, once they tried to um, show up the boss dialogue. So here I'm using Unity uh, 5.2.3, and just going to show you how to ignore or delete and get rid of these errors once you see them. Uh, so there's a minor error here in Unity 5, and just gonna show you how to solve it. If you go click, if you go to the game scene here, and if you go open the game scene, you're just gonna see something called main. And inside of the main, we have dialogues. We have the boss dialogue, lose dialogue, win dialogue. So all the time, once you open uh, your scene here, make sure that you have added a new tag called UI button, because this this uh, this tag is used among all the buttons inside of the inside the game. Uh, for example, let's just show you uh, the boss dialog here. Let me just enable the boss dialog. Double click on it here. Let's just open the scene. Double click on the boss dialog. If you zoom in, you're just gonna see uh, here we have something called music toggle. And this music toggle, if you open it, you're just gonna see here we have toggle zero. And toggle zero is basically a UI button. All right, so we need uh, we need to have a UI button here, but it's not necessarily. But I do recommend that you have, uh, if you add, a, uh, for example, any button inside the game, if you assign a UI button here. All right, so this is an optional step because we use here uh, something called button, and this button is assigned to a certain message or certain function here. So we call this function, and this function. You can find it inside of uh, the events here. On button click, on button music, music button click. So this is the button that we call. Uh, so how did we assign this button? You can refer to the uh, section four of the course, responsive UI design and how to make custom event and use the messaging inside of Unity. So we added a whole section how to add this custom button. Uh, for this toggle zero here. You can see we have an animator assigned to this toggle zero. So all the time, uh, if you go here, let me just turn off this dialog because we show it at runtime. I'm just gonna show you what is the error there. If you go click play, and you go to console, you can click here one star dialog, all is good. Uh, you can go menu, go back here. Uh, okay, we have here, if we click here, you're just gonna get this error. Toggle zero animation event has no function name. All right. So this is a common error that we got once you develop uh, the application Unity Five. I'm just gonna show you how to fix it. First, we got here toggle zero, which is the game object, and we got a problem with animation event that this animation event has no function. In Unity Four, when once we uh, once we developed the Uni Unity 4 applications, uh, this kind of error was ignored directly at runtime. But in Unity 5, you have to take care of this uh, exception. So I'm just gonna here come to, let me just close Skype. If you go here toggle zero, you can see this toggle zero has an animator. And if you go to the animator tab here, you can see uh, that we got an animator here. And once you, for example, change uh, uh, the on to off the toggle here you're just gonna run another animator here so you can click alt and the keyboard and move to see the different states of the animation also we added a new section for a whole section about how to make animation in unity so you're just gonna be familiar and do such a, an animation from scratch also here the music you can see so this is how how you could toggle between the different animation states. So here, for example, we toggle off. Here, we toggle on. So uh, we just back to the normal state, as you can see. So we got this exception all the time once we show up the dialog. All right, we got here five exceptions because we clicked here five times. All right, and notice this exception is happening once we back to the default state. So in order to sell, solve this exception. Let me just close the run time, the run mode, and go to animation here. Just select the toggle, toggle zero. For example, we have toggle zero here for the music, and also we have toggle one for uh, the sound. So let me just select the toggle zero.
If we go here for the first animation, so go animation tab, we've got animator, we've got different animation, one, two, three, four. So if we go to the toggle zero here, we have the first toggle zero animation. Make sure that you don't have any unassigned animation event here in the timeline. So we don't have any animation event. I'm just going to go to check this toggle on here. We don't have also any toggle, toggle on event. If we go to the default toggle on here, we have an animation event here. You can see it. So if we click in the edit animation event, you can see this event, this event is not assigned to, to any function here. So that's why we get this error here in Unity 5. So all what you have to do is just come, in, come to, this, uh, um, to this step here and right click on it and click delete animation event. That's it. You're just going to solve the, uh, the error. Here inside the default toggle, you can see we don't have any animation event. And that's it. You solve this error. If you go to toggle one, you go for example to toggle off, you can see we don't have any animation event toggle on, default toggle on, you can see also we don't have any animation event there. And that's just really perfect. So right now I can close the bus dialog and go to the console, clear the console and click play. Once you click play, you can click here and notice that we don't have any error right now. And this is pretty much all the all the story behind making and solving this uh, no animation event exception i hope this lesson was uh, helpful for you thank you again for watching see you in other lessons